Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make that velocity that I showed in the start of the video. Alright, so first you're going to want to drag in your song and your clip, like that. And you're going to want to find it where you get the kill in the clip. And you're going to want to mark that. So here, when the palette show, on the frame of the palette show, so on that frame you can see the palette showing, so you're going to want to click on this and click M. Then you're going to want to go to the song. I'm trying to make my mama prior, that's for sure. So then you're going to want to play the song and find where the beat drop, where the beat drop is. I'm trying to make my mama prior, that's for sure. Landed in the city, but my heart is on house top flow. In the stew, I got his back. So I'm gonna click M there. Now you're gonna wanna line up the two markers, so I'll just shorten this a bit. Line it up and extend it back to the start. And I'm gonna do this so it fades in and I'll do the same for the clip. So now this is what it should look like without the velocity. And now we can add the sound effects. So we just drag this in and line it up like that. And now I'm just gonna fade it out for the sake of the tutorial, but you don't need to do this in your montages. And this is what it should look like without the velocity. Alright, now for the velocity, you're going to want to click the top clip and click Control R. And you're going to want to go back to your marker, wait the palette show, and you click on this little arrow and click Add Speed Point. And then you're going to want to go back and find the frame where your character pulls out the gun. And click on that and click Add Speed Point. Then you can zoom in on the timeline a bit, find the middle of this, and add another speed point. Oh crap, sorry. Now you're going to want to set this first value. It doesn't need to be exactly in the middle, but I'm just going to adjust it. Now you're going to want to set this first value to 50%, and the second value to 400%. And you're going to want to drag this back so this lines up with the marker like that. Now, for the, this bit, you can change the speed to 50% and line that back up here. And this is what that should look like. Now, if you want that more of a fade with the speed, like you saw in the intro, you can click on the clip, go to Retime and Scaling, click on that, and at the top here, set this to Optical Flow, and this to Smoother, and this is what that will look like. Sorry for the lag, but you should have seen it in the preview, that's what it'll look like. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. If this helped you, or if you enjoyed this, please make sure to drop a sub, as it helps me so much. Thank you, and peace out.